Hey guys, Pastor Chris here with some more Thursday Thoughts. You know what, have you ever watched one of those entertainment shows, or maybe like CNBC or something like that, and you hear about a celebrity's net worth? Maybe you hear about their house, their big mansion, and how much it's selling for. And so we oftentimes attach worth with a person, and therefore we deem them to be successful or not based on their worth. And so the world has a different definition of worth than maybe we do. You know, as believers, we say worth is tied to our identity in Jesus Christ. And this is where we know that we're children of God. You can't get any bigger or better than that. But another factor of this as well is your self-image, your self-esteem, your self-worth. And it's where we have to identify with the fact that, you know what, we will not be successful in this life if we don't have a high self-image. Not one of pride, but one of confidence in who God has made us to be. My mentor, John Maxwell, once said, if your desire is a 10, but your self-esteem is a five, you'll never perform at the level of a 10. You'll perform as a five or lower. People are never able to outperform their self-image. So if you do believe you're a child of God, know that he has great things in store for you. He has a plan and a purpose for your life. But you have to believe that. You have to know that you were created with a purpose on purpose. And so what does that look like for your daily life? Are you living out your purpose? And that will tie into your self-image, your self-worth. Knowing your purpose will help a great deal with your self-image. That means you know what you're created to be and created to do. And this is where if you know what that purpose is, that helps with the confidence of knowing what steps you need to take to grow. To grow in your ability to be everything you're called to be. And think of it this way. If God, who created everything in the universe, has called you to do something, created you to be something, what does that mean to you? Doesn't that mean everything? Doesn't that mean that you are special to God and you have something unique that you have that you can share with the world? Do you need help knowing what your purpose is and knowing what the next steps are? I'm available for coaching sessions. You can go to my website right now, chrishoneycutt.com and book a free 30 minute coaching session. I'll even buy you a cup of coffee. That's it for Thursday Thoughts. Have a great day.